Hello, this is Jacqueline again. I thought today I'd just show some of the dolls that I've painted, how I've painted them, explain how I paint them, what I do, how I get a doll like this. I paint her. I've got some lovely coloured chalk in her hair too. That just comes from the pound shop. It's lovely. She's got, this is a stencil that I use. So it's a stencil of a cupcake and the other side is a stencil of a dolphin. Very simply done, you know, with the dolphin, I've done some splashes of water, just makes it a little bit more, like it, it's, a, it's a stencil that I've just used paint with, but I put a little bit of glitter, but the glitter is edible glitter, it's very soft, very natural glitter, so it's not, um, not harmful anyway. Of course, some more lovely lipstick that I used, green and blue and all the colour lipsticks that you've seen me use before. And a little bit of glitter with that as well so that's just a pretty little face paint obviously you wouldn't have both sides you'd only do one side or the other and with the dolphin you could do a little bit more a little bit more sea some bubbles coming up you can make a real sort of fantasy thing of it you could go you could go with the sea to the other side of the face and make the whole face into like a a sea sort of spectacular or with a cupcake you know again you could put you, you know you could put that onto a table put a little chuck um i don't know tea cloth next to it i mean you could make that to a bit more but i thought it's a very lovely simple idea very effective uh, stencils are brilliant you can get them on the internet you can get them in any of the shops that do the face painting and party stuff so you know go and have a look around see what you can find and i'll just show you actually just before i leave this lovely dolly i shall show you the picture that i done of her so this is the picture that i use to put on my board and that just shows little girls what they can have they can have a bit chalk in their hair and they can have their lovely cupcake so that's just a picture i took of her so then i can wash her face off now and i can do her number design on her so that's that one right my next one i should show you is a clown now you've probably seen this before because i've shown him before but there's my lovely clown he's all glittery he's got a lovely little bot bottom part to him where i painted that to make him look more like a clown i didn't get a picture of him i didn't have time um so I took him and I just took him to this fake that I'd done and everyone loved him and again that lovely chalk hair and that this is him and he's the same doll as I used for another so this is exactly the same doll that I used for the snake so I should show you a picture of the bottom of the snake that I've done on him so this is the same him or her doll and they are there's the bottom and it was a snake that went round the head and then just went down to the bottom and then the the tongue, as you see, where it goes around the old chin. So that's the same doll. Okay, wash it all off, paint it all again. So for you ones that want to paint your dolls like I do, it's lovely. You can use your doll, and you can, and again, she can be a he or a she. I've cut her hair. Her hair got very knotty, so I just cut it off. And now she can wear a hairband when she wants to be a girl again, and when she wants to look like a boy, she can have a boy's face paint. So, so that's how I did that one. And there's some more pictures of the same doll. So I should put this down. I should do it again. This is the same doll painted differently again with a bumblebee. The bumblebee is in the middle, as you can see. It's a smiley bumblebee. And it's got, they're very, it's very pale. But there's the wings at each side. Can you see that? And this is the same doll again that I've painted as a bumblebee. So you get, you know, just wash it off. Mummies can help wash it off sometimes because sometimes paints whatever you use might might stick on to the vinyl because they're vinyl they've not got real skin they're vinyl so it might take a little bit more time there's lots of tips and tricks i will tell you about or you can ask me and i'll let you know of how to get your doll clean and obviously for your faces it's everything that you paint on every bit of glitter even the, this little stick on gems all come off of a wet one so there we go so we go on to another dolly now so we go on to my well my actual wig head right so sorry we're going to my wig head now this is a wig head stand some lovely flowers that i've done you know sometimes in the summer times uh, ladies will come along and i can do that on their feet on their ankles just down their necks just maybe just a little part of it not all of this but maybe just that much of it just around the eye this i thought this is quite effective with the actual leaf going onto the eye and then the other side is another face but you'll put them both together is the, of the butterfly and that's a very that's a very lovely one for maybe the older girls you know because they've got a bit of eyeliner there lots of silver a lovely gem in the middle if it's done for a younger girl you can do less paint in the middle so you wouldn't do the eye line and you do less paint in the middle 
Or if you have a lady that has already has makeup on, you don't do the middle either. Or if you want to, you could do it both sides. So you just make this more straight. And don't do the bottom part like there. You just do that part and then you do the same on the other side. So there's all different ways you can do that. But with that little gem, little stuck on gem, silver eyeshadow. I love silver eyeshadow. That was just a pound shop. Um, scandalous um, rimmel and some paint any colour paint you want to I think it's a very effective lovely party lovely festival lovely carnival face paint and the flowers and they match but I don't know why because I did do them at different times but anyway and some lovely lovely lipsticks I think she's looking rather lovely there we go I shall put her down and get on to my next doll my next doll is my Batman doll and the good thing about this Batman doll is that what I've got is a stencil, so that's a stencil, so I painted this black, wiped out a hole, put some gold in it, so this is some, well it's yellow, it looks golden, but it's yellow, it's a yellow, um, fluorescent yellow paint, stencil, so you've got that lovely Batman look, this is great, because if I take a picture of it, I could put it on my board and it just looks more effective, simple Batman shape, moon, some bats. And I just think that's a lovely, simple, effective do, way of doing a Batman. So that is him. And I'll show you, show you how to do him on another tutorial next time. So there he is. So ta-ta, off you go. And my very last one that I'm going to show you is... Oh, no, I've got two more to show you. Sorry, I've got two more to show you. I've got this little one. Now, she's just got the little head that I showed in the tutorial before. Pretty little colours all the way down. Gems. Very effective, simple little face paint for a party, for a festival, for a carnival. Um, make sure when you do gems on little ones, they aren't little that they'll put them in the mouth, could choke. Or us mummies, if you're going to do it. Um, dollies will love them. Little girls, you can put them on your dollies. And mummies can do that on your face and you could be matching with your doll because that's what i done. One of my tutorials that you see before, you'll see that I've done my face exactly the same. And off I was, I was off to the carnival. And festival and everything you know I was, I was just full of fun put let my hair down and had a fantastic time so i just think it's a pretty lovely little face paint to do very quick very simple very cheap there you go so that's her and my last but not least is my queen of hearts and there she is that's the queen of hearts i painted the bottom again because i wanted it so that i could do a picture of her and I just put the bunny rabbit hairband on because I found that in a church. And I just thought it was so lovely. I just I just thought maybe it doesn't match. I don't know. But it just looks the part. And like I say, go to go to charity shops. You can get some fantastic things for Dolly. It's lovely. And if you sell, because even something like that, you could just pop it in the washing machine. It'd be absolutely fine. And uh, so I think she looks very pretty, actually, with my other little one. So I shall put her next to her. So they're two very pretty little ones there. Pretty little girl ideas. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I should just show you very quickly before I go another head where I've done. This is the dark head doll, which was I just showed you as the back man. This is her or him being done up as a ladybird. And I found a scarf that had bees on it. So I just tied it in the hair. There you go. There's a bee. Next one I'd like to show you is just a little one. It kind of looks, it's on the basis of this reindeer that I've done. I'm getting it off a board. I had this on a board, but it's all come off now and I'm just redoing it. So it's all sort of messy. But this is another one. It was based on virtually a reindeer I drew at Christmas. But I just thought it was just a very pretty kind of woodland nymph kind of idea. Very pretty idea. And that's obviously the same doll that you saw before that's got the cupcake on her. Another one is um, what I called, I made another idea, which is a My Little Pony Princess. Just one eye, done like a pony, and then with lots of colours coming down. You can't see that so well. And then the My Little Pony Princess clip that I bought. I just bought that from Sainsbury's. Very pretty. I added that in. So when they had the face paint, they added on the little clip. And that was lovely. Very, very pretty little design. And I think that is it for my designs at the moment. I've got to get everything sorted out again. I've got more face painting to do, more parties and everything. And, of course, I'll get back to you with lots more ideas. So I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. 
didn't show you me. I've just covered in face paint from my last tutorial, so I better go and have a bath. So, so it's goodbye from all of us. Say goodbye. Goodbye. And they're all saying goodbye. They're all in a line there saying goodbye. Next time you see my lovely dolls, they will be different. They will have different faces. So if you want to, please put down a comment. Please ask, say you'd like me to think of something else that I could paint. Give me an idea and I'll do that for you. That would be lovely. Subscribe. On the bottom, you can subscribe to me. Send me little, little um, pictures of what you've done too. And I'd love to see anything that you paint. And I'd love to hear from you. So bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.